riding in a 1970s blue Corvette owned and driven by Francis Westmont. Lucy is being escorted by Lane and Lee. Little Miss Porridge, Vanessa Barnia, is riding in the 2018 4301 BMW, owned by Melanie Hopper and driven by Jim Barnia. And the 2019 homecoming queen, Miss Abigail Riscus, riding in a 2008 Mercedes SLK 280, owned and driven by Tom Riscus. Abby is...
And for those watching live at home, we are at the Portage Mustang F Stadium here for a football game against the Portage Mustangs and the Berlin Mountaineers. Both teams undefeated. Portage right now 4-0, conference overall 4-0, obviously. And the Berlin Mountaineers are 5-0. They're also 5-0 in their conference. So it should be a pretty good game this evening. And a great night for football here in Portage. Both teams ready to go here on homecoming night, 2020. Berlin getting ready to take the field. And here come the Berlin Mountaineers, the Berlin Mountaineers rushing through. Again, an undefeated football team, good football team, Portage ready for this game. The battle of the undefeateds tonight here in Portage, Pennsylvania as the Mountaineers come onto the field. But your Portage Mustangs getting ready. And there's the Portage cheerleaders with the homecoming 2020 sign. They're going to run through here in a minute before we get this game underway. Five minutes and counting before the game starts. So go get your chips and soda now. A little chilly out here tonight. Not sure exactly what the temperature is, but this is a great night for football. And here come the Portage Mustangs rushing on the field, crushing through that sign. And here we go. They look ready to play. The crowd going wild here in Portage as their Mustangs take the field. Big game tonight against the Berlin Mountaineers. Portage looks ready to go, focused on the game already. And the Portage Mustang marching band playing their song, getting the crowd ready to go as the Portage cheerleaders now walking off the field. And there's the Portage Mustang cheerleaders getting the crowd fired up for tonight's game. Coach Brandon Vaco. Getting his, ready, his team ready here as the Mustangs take the field. And they will receive to open the game. Again, both teams undefeated. This should be a great game between two high school football powerhouses. Berlin now on the field. Getting set to kick. As the referee taking the football out.
And number 23 for the Berlin Mountaineers, Aspen Hay. The senior standing at 5'9 to kick. Clar and Raymond back for the Mustangs to receive. And the referee will blow the whistle. And here's the kick to open this game. Rainy, Rainy to return up to the almost the 20-yard line and taken down by two Berlin Mountaineers at about the 15-yard line, it looks like. We'll see where they mark that. And they will mark it at the 15-yard line. First and 10 for the Portage Mustangs to open this game. Berlin came right down there. They didn't leave them a whole lot of room. So a short return for the Mustangs. And here we go, first play of the game. Nelly in the backfield. And it's a quarterback sneak right up the middle. He'll get about seven yards, Miko on the run. Quarterback for the Portage Mustangs. So that should make it second down three to go for the Portage Mustangs here on their opening drive. Ball marked at the 23-yard line. Second down, three to go. And if you look at the uh, Berlin defense, they got some big guys up there. But a good start here for the Mustangs. Seven-yard quarterback carry. Second and three. And he will carry it again right up the middle, stopped by number 73 in a pile of Mountaineers. But forward progress will mark him, it looks like, at about the 24-yard line, so maybe a one-yard gain, third and a two. Third and one. So Mika with nine yards so far in this opening drive. Two quarterback carries right up the middle against that tough uh, Mountaineer defense with some big guys up there. Number 73 for the Mountaineers, Shane Spano. He is a senior, 6'2 and 330 pounds. Big boy to get through there for the Mustangs. So third and a yard here in the opening drive. Miko on the handoff to number 44, and he is taken back behind the line by a tough Mountaineer defense. That will bring up a four fourth down situation here for the Mustangs early on in this game. They're going to mark it back at the 22-yard line. Berard Nelly on the carry. And it looks like they're going to go for it. No, I'm sorry. Miko back to punt. They're not going to go for it. A little bit of pressure, but he gets the punt off. That'll go to about the 50-yard line. And picked up by the Mountaineers. Breaks one tackle, but not able to get any further. That'll be down about the 48-yard line for the Mountaineers. Um, Etris, Isaac Etris for the Mountaineers on the return there. Able to get about three or four yards. That'll set up a first and ten for the Mountaineers on their first drive of the game. Quick drive for the Mustangs against a tough Mountaineer defense. Number two for the Berlin Mountaineers at quarterback, Will Spookart, the senior standing at 6'3". And it looks like a hand up. No, he's going to do a quarterback sneak right up the middle. Not going to get a whole lot stuffed up real quick by that Mustang defense. Maybe a yard on the play. It looks like they're going to mark it at the 49-yard line. They will. John Wolford on the tackle. And that'll be... Second and nine for the Mountaineers. And on the handoff to number four, Preston Four. He's able to break a couple tackles. Tackled by number 22, Peyton Zatek. But that will be a first down for the Mountaineers. 
at the 38-yard line. Now in enemy territory here. Portage defense is going to have to come through. Two uh, quick plays by the Mountaineers. They're not taking a whole lot of time in the huddle. And Spuchar, Spokart, I'm sorry, back to throw the lefty. Big, deep pass. Just overthrew him just a little bit to number 27, Tuck Hillegas. And Caden Clar on the defense there. But Spookart overthrew him. That'll bring up second down and 10 for the Mountaineers. Almost going into a hurry up offense here is Berlin. And Spookart with a carry. Picks up about three or four yards. That'll be third down. They're going to mark the ball at the 35-yard line, a three-yard gain for Berlin, which will bring up a third and seven situation here. you got to wonder if they're going to throw the ball or run it all. Taking a little bit more time is Spook Chart. Third down and seven. Back to throw the lefty quarterback. Quick pass to number one. He is wrapped up. Instantly by number 22 for the Portage Mustangs, Peyton Zaytek. And Charlie Fisher there, number one for the Berlin Mountaineers, will bring the ball up to about the 30-yard line. So it'll be fourth and two for the Mountaineers. And it does appear like they're going to go for it. Portage ready for this. Deep in enemy territory here. Fourth down, two to go. Rush by the Mustangs and tackled up behind the line by a rash of Mustang players. Number 33, uh, Oren Hit Heidler. Beautiful tackle there by the Mustang defense. That's a turnover on downs, and the ball will go back to the Portage Mustangs at the 32-yard line. Your score is still 0-0 here, 7.45 to play in the first quarter. So a great stop by the Mustang defense there, ready for it on fourth and two. Just powered through the line. And that's what you like to see in that kind of a situation. Portage back to throw. It's a it's a fake to number 11, Caden Clar, who's wrapped up, it looks like, at about the 36-yard line. And they will mark it at the 36. Gain of four yards for Clar. That'll bring up second down and six to go for the Portage Mustangs. And quarterback Andrew Miko. Will run the ball. Quarterback Sneak tripped up a little bit there. And he it doesn't look like he gained a yard there. That should be about third down and six to go. Stopped quickly there by the Berlin Mountaineer defense. They're going to mark it a yard, so it'll be third down and five to go. Uh, Cornell. Cornell on the stop for the Mountaineers. Big third down here for the Portage. Miko. The quarterback for the Mustangs. Number 11, Caden Clark in motion. And Miko, a little bit of trouble. Got the ball away before taking the sack. However, that will bring up a fourth down situation here at the 37 yard line. And Miko will punt for the Mustangs. Another quick um, offensive show display there by the Mustangs. This, port, uh, this Berlin defense is tough. Spookart and Etris back. And Spookart stopped quickly. Now he broke the tackle, but the Mustangs will wrap him up at about the 27-yard line. So Berlin will take over control of the football. 
makes Dimitri Miller. Dimitri Miller on the tackle. <clears throat> for the Mustangs. And they are going to mark this ball at the 28-yard line. For the Portage, uh, sorry, for the Berlin Mountaineers. Spookart back to throw. Quick toss out to number eight, Isaac Etras, but wrapped up quickly by a tough Mustang defense there. Looks like it'll be about a three or four yard loss. They will mark it a three yard loss. Second down for the Mountaineers. Great job by the Mustangs there to get through that tough offensive line for the Mountaineers and get to the football. Spookard looking on the sideline for the call. And in motion is number eight, Isaac Etrus, who's able to find a gap and bring the ball, spins through two tacklers and is able to get the ball to the 45-yard line in Mustang territory. And the quick play was able to expose a weakness in the Mustang defense. And he powered through that gap. Big play there for the Mountaineers. Ball now at the 44-yard line for Berlin. Spookart back to throw. Looks like he hands it off to Etrus. Now that's Preston four. Number four for the Mountaineers. For a gain right up the middle. Gain of seven. That'll bring up second down and three for the Mountaineers now in Mustang territory. Spook off on the handoff to four again, but stopped behind the line. Loss of two on the play. Now they're going to mark it at the 36-yard line. Looks like he picked up one. So it'll be third down and two for the Mountaineers. Portage showing blitz. And Spookart right up the middle. Wrapped up by a plethora of Mustangs there. Number 33, Heidler, one of the ones on the tackle for the Mustangs. That'll pick up maybe a yard, which will bring up fourth down and a yard. And Sassen also on that play with the tackle on Spookart. Taking their time here in a fourth down situation. Score 0-0 zero, zero still. 3.35 to play in the first quarter. And they're set. Portage had this exact same situation happen last time. The handoff. And they're going to hold them up again. That tough Mustang defense showing through. That will be a turnover on downs. Oh, looks like the referees are going to call forward progress. That... And they will have to measure that one. Too close to call. Uh, referees conferring on the field here. It did not look from up here in the booth that he got the first down. We'll find out right now as here come the sticks. And just a little bit short. That'll be the Portage Mustangs regaining control of the football two times in a row in Mustang territory. The Portage Mustangs defense was able to pull through and get the football back. And that is huge. Berlin running quick offense to get down into the Portage territory, but the Mustangs holding strong. Now have control of the football at the 34-yard line. Score still 0-0 here early in the game. Both teams with a couple of drives. Unsuccessful, though. Portage set. Number 33 in motion. Back to throw. 
Beautiful pass may have been picked off. No. Knocked down by number two. Will Will Spookart. Reported second down. And Miko on the handoff to number 33. It's fumbled, and Berlin falls on the ball. And the referees will rule. The Mountaineers have regained control of the football at the 43-yard line. Big turnover there by the Mustangs. Recovered by Cornell for the Mountaineers. And Berlin, Spokart on the quarterback keeper right up the middle. Pick up above about three. They're going to mark it at the 39-yard line. Second down. Sassen on the tackle. Spokart out to number five. And tackled behind the line. Quick response there by the Mustang defense. Bluebach with the completion there. And it'll be third down for the Mountaineers. Ball on the 40-yard line. Third down and eight for the Mountaineers. Miko on the tackle. Spokart back to throw. He will keep it. And is tripped up by number 37 for the Mustangs. Wolford. And that'll bring up another fourth down situation for the Mustangs. I'm sorry, for the Mountaineers. Fourth down and three to go here in enemy territory and they will go for it and Spokart on the toss to number four for the Mountaineers Preston four tackled behind the line and the Mustangs will regain, regain control of the football at the 36-yard line, three times the Mustangs have stopped the Mountaineers on a fourth down situation. Tough defense for the Mustangs. Score still 0-0 with a minute 37 left in the first quarter. And Miko on the handoff. Two-yard pickup. But there's a flag on the play. Illegal shift on the Mustangs. And that's a five-yard penalty, bringing it back to the 31 yard line. Still first down for the Mustangs, however. <laughs> After the illegal shift call. Referee talking to the Mustangs there. Ball now in play. Portage coming out of the huddle. First down and 15 for the Mustangs.
Wolford in motion. And now Klar in motion. They hand off to Klar. Klar unable to get a whole lot of yards there. Tackled by number 27, Takhilagas, which will bring up second down and 15. Ball still on the 31-yard line. They're going to mark it a yard loss. So it'll be second down and 16 for the Portage Mustangs. And Portage coming out of the huddle. Back to throw is Miko. A little bit of pressure. And taken down behind the line at about the 28-yard line by the Mountaineer defense. However, there is another flag on the play. We'll see what the call is here. Referees discussing it. Uh, illegal, formation. illegal formation against the Mustangs. However, Berlin will decline the penalty. So the ball at the 29-yard line. And that will end the first quarter. Your score is still 0-0 between these two undefeated teams. A lot of defense here to start. All right, beginning of the second quarter, still 0-0. Portage with the football. Miko on the quarterback carry up to about the 30-yard line. And tackled by number nine, Hunter Cornell for the Mountaineers. And that will bring up a fourth down situation. Portage with the punt. Number two. Looks like it uh, might have fumbled the football. And it looks like Portage now regains control of the football at the 40-yard line. Spokar couldn't get a hold of it. And Portage, after the punt, will regain control. Now in Mountaineer territory at the 40-yard line. So Miko and the Portage Mustang offense back on the field after the punt there. Score still 0-0.
However, Portage now threatening. And on the handoff, right up the middle is number 33, Oren Heidler. And he'll take it to the 34-yard line. Pick up a six yards, second down and four to go. Stopped by Gerber for the Mountaineers. Second down and three to go for the Mustangs. Claw in motion. And Mika will keep it. No gain on the play. Tackled by number 60. For the Mountaineers, Hunter Gerber. And that'll bring up a third down situation for the Mustangs. And if you're Portage, you really want to capitalize on this drive right now and get some points on the board. First points of the board on the game. Miko on the handoff to number 33, Oren Heidler, who picks up two or three yards there. And that'll be fourth down on the 32-yard line. Fourth and two for the Mustangs. Ball on the 32-yard line. Miko behind center. And Heidler tackled behind the line by the Mountaineers. So that'll be a turnover on downs. Spokart on the tackle. I believe I may have said that wrong so far the entire game. Hopefully we'll fix that now. Will Spokart, the senior for the Berlin Mountaineers. And the Berlin offense take over at the 35-yard line. Score still 0-0. And Spokart on the handoff. Tackled by three Mustangs behind the line. That'll be second down. They're going to mark it a loss of maybe one on the play. No gain. Sassen on the tackle. Second down, 10 to go for Berlin. And Spokart on the pass, completed to number five, Ryan Bluebaugh. Gain is 16 yards for the Mountaineers. And that'll be first down at the 50-yard line. Now they're going to mark it at the 49th, so they are officially in Mustang territory. Eight minutes, 37 seconds left. Spokart on the quarterback keeper right up the middle. Gets it to the 46-yard line. Second down. They're going to mark it at the 45, so a pickup of four. And second down for the Mountaineers. Now in Mustang territory again. Spokart, the lefty quarterback for the Mountaineers, back to throw. A little bit of pressure by the Mustangs. He'll get the ball away, completed to number 27, Tuck Hillegas. However, there is a flag on the play, late flag there by the referees. Not sure what the flag is. Hillegas not happy about the call. After the seven-yard gain on second down. And 
And the flag is against the Portage Mustangs. And a personal foul will bring the ball up to the 20-yard line. And this is the closest the Mountaineers have been to putting some points on the board. Still a scoreless game here midway through the second quarter. Spokart right up the middle, dives down to the 19-yard line. They're going to mark it at the 20. Gain of eight yards on the play. So second down. For the Mountaineers. Spokart on the handoff to four. Tackled behind the line by number 24, Corey Sasson, and number 33, Oren Heidler. And that's what the Mustangs are good at right here. So far in this game is not allowing the Mountaineers to capitalize on these opportunities to score points. Now third down. Ball on the 21-yard line. And Spokart on the quarterback keeper right up the middle. Down to about the 19 or 18-yard line. Sherbine with the tackle. And that'll bring, bring up a fourth down scenario here for the Mountaineers. Mustangs have been able to stop them every time on fourth down so far. But this is a big one. Spokart on the handoff. Tackled instantly. Handed off to four. But the Mustangs hold strong again. That tough Mustang defense pulls through again. Able to get the turnover. Wolford with the tackle. And the Portage Mustangs regain control of the football on the 20-yard line. Four times they've stopped him on fourth down conversions, and that is huge for the Mustangs. They just need to get the offense going here as it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. And Miko and the offense take the field. Miko back to throw, deep pass. Over through number 18, Preston Rainey. And that'll bring up a second down situation for the Mustangs. Clark in motion. It will be handed off to him. Great blocking by the Mustang offense. He'll pull it up to about the 23-yard line before being knocked out of bounds. And that'll bring up a third down scenario here for the Portage Mustangs. Head coach Marty Slonick got to be happy about the Mustang defense so far. Trying to get the offense going here. But like I said before, that Mountaineer defense has some big boys on that line. And they have been playing well so far. The big question is, will Portage be able to get through it? And they're set to go on a third down situation. Sassen in motion. Miko back to throw. A little bit of pressure. Able to get the football away. Just tipped away. Almost caught by Josh Morgan, number 29 for the Mustangs. But that will bring up a fourth down situation. Last time the Mustangs had a fourth down situation, they were, they did punt the football away. However, uh, Spokart was not able to, to catch it, and uh, uh, the, the Mustangs they were able to control, regain control of the football. Isaac Etris back to return. And the ball bounces at the 50-yard line. Portage will mark it down at the 40, number 22.
Peyton Zaytik. Zaytak, I apologize. Miko with a good punt there. And the Mountaineers will take control of the football on the 40-yard line. Still a scoreless game. Six minutes and eight seconds left in the half. Between these two undefeated powerhouses. Here at Portage Mustang Stadium. Spokart and the Mountaineers take the field. Quick pass to number eight. Isaac Etris, who brings it up to about the 49-yard line. Zaytak on the tackle. Second down and a yard for the Mountaineers. Spoke out on the quarterback carry will bring it up to the 49 in Mustang territory, which will also give them another first down. And it seems to be the pattern in this game. The Mountaineers are able to drive it down into Mustang territory. However, the Mustangs do not let them score. Spokart back to throw. Little bit of pressure. Almost intercepted by the Mustangs. Number 22, Peyton Zaytek. Second down for the Mountaineers. Ball at the 48-yard line. Great job by Zaytek. Zaytek. Breaking it up there. And Spokart on the handoff to number four. Preston Four, who pushes it ahead for about... Four yards. They're going to mark it five yards. Sassen on the tackle. Third down for the Mountaineers. And Spokart back to throw. Lots of time in the pocket. Quick pass over to number eight, Isaac Etris. And down at the 32-yard line. However, that will be a first down for the Mountaineers in Mustang territory again. Mustangs need to hold strong here again. Spokart on the handoff to number four, Preston Four, who's able to take it up a couple yards to the 20. Five-yard line. Second down for the Mountaineers. Seven-yard pickup by four. Stopped by Klar for the Mustangs. Spokart back to throw. Lots of pressure by the Mustang defense. Will he get through? Hit hard by number 22, Peyton Zaytak. On the tackle at about the 24-yard line. Third and two for the Mountaineers. Yet again in Mustang territory. But the Mustangs have done an excellent job so far of holding them to zero points on the board. Spokart on the quarterback keeper right up the middle. Might pick up two. Will it be enough for a first down? Wolford with the tackle, and that will be a first down for the Mountaineers. Ball on the 21-yard line. First and 10 for the Mountaineers. Spokart back to throw. Plenty of time in the pocket. Right over to the middle, almost! Could have been picked up by the Mustangs there. No flags on the play, it doesn't appear. So that'll bring up second down and 10. Miko on the coverage there. And Porter's still doing a good job holding them out of the end zone. 
322 left in the half. Your score is 0-0 still. Good defensive battle between these two undefeated teams as the Mountaineers will take over second down and 10. Ball in the 21, Spokart on the handoff to Preston Four, who brings it up, powers it up to the 16-yard line, tackled by number 11, Caden Clark, which will bring up a third down situation for the Mountaineers. Not able to get a whole lot of big passes off, uh, or either team actually. A lot of running plays by both teams. Spokart on the handoff again. Stopped quickly by the Mustang defense. That'll be number 37, John Wolford on the tackle. Breaking right through that offensive line for the Mountaineers to put them in a fourth down situation once again. Now, every time so far, the Mustangs have been able to stop them. Uh, however, they will look, it looks like they're going to try for a field goal. A little bit of technical difficulty there. I apologize. And the field goal is up. And no good. May have been tipped there by the Mustang defense. Regardless, it will now be Portage Mustangs ball at the 20-yard line. It looked like he may have tipped that ball. 2.38 left in the first half of play. Score still 0-0. Ball on the 20-yard line as Andrew Miko and the Portage Mustang offense take the field. Great defensive performance here so far by both teams. But really, what I'd like to highlight is the Mustangs have, have been back against the corner here multiple times. Uh, here's Miko on the throw. Deep pass to number 11. It's completed by Clark. Taken down at the 45-yard line by number 8. Isaac Etris, huge play by the Mustangs. First big play of the game, and the crowd fired up now here in Portage. That's a 36-yard gain by the Portage Mustangs. It looks like we're going to have a timeout on the field. Etris looks to be injured after that play. Obviously, we hope he's okay, but a great play by the Portage Mustang offense. One of the biggest plays of the game. Really got the crowd back into this game. An eruption from the crowd here in Portage. Great play by the, uh, by the Mustangs. Now in Mountaineer territory. And Etris is still down on the field. Head coach Marty Slonick, happy about that big play. Beautiful pass by Miko, and a great job to hold on to the football by Caden Clark. And Etris gets up and is now walking off the field. So we're glad to see that. Looks like no serious injury there. But anyway, what I was saying before was. Portage has been in a situation multiple times where the Mountaineers have had it in their territory, deep in their territory, and they've been able to stop them every time, especially on fourth down conversions, to keep this game score tied at zero. And now a huge play by the Mustang offense will give them a first down and 10 situation ball on the 43-yard line. Miko back to throw. Mediocre pass, just unable to complete the pass is to Clark. Overthrew him just a little bit. That'll bring up a second down and 10 situation. But it looks like the Mustang is a little bit more confident to throw that football. Not a whole lot of pressure there either by the Mountaineers on that play. A lot of rushing uh, by both teams in this game so far. But like I said, just a beautiful play by the Mustangs to get them into Mountaineer territory. And Miko back to throw again. 
Deep pass. Oh, broken up by Spokart, it looks like. Pass intended for number 11, Caden Clark. That'll bring up a third down and 10 situation. I'm sorry, that was broken up by Fisher for the Mountaineers. But a big play here for the Mustangs. They need to put some points on the board here. Their defense has been holding beautifully. Um, but they need to get a little bit of an offensive drive going here. It looks like they've, they've done that so far. They just need to continue. And here we go. Third down and 10. Miko and the Mustang offense. Ready to go. Number 44 in motion. Miko on the pass. Completed. And tackled after about a two-yard gain, maybe three. Klar with the reception. And that will bring up a fourth down situation. Pickup of two on the play. Almost broke through. Fourth down and eight for the Mustangs. Ball on the 42-yard line. But they're utilizing the pass a lot more this drive, and it's, so far it's brought a good bit of success for the Mustang offense. Miko's had some great passes so far, but this is a big situation for both teams. It looks like a timeout called by the Mustangs. Head coach Marty Slonick. Wants to go over a couple things here before this play. This is a huge play with a minute and 24 seconds left in the first half. Score still 0-0 by these two top teams, both undefeated. Defensive battle. And the timeout with a minute 24 left in the half. <clears throat> and there's your Portage Mustang cheerleaders. They knew that know this is an important drive. Trying to get some points on the board for the Mustangs. Mountaineer defense has held strong so far. But an explosion of life from the Mustangs as they drove down after a 36-yard pass by Miko to Klar to put them in Mountaineer territory. So ball on the 42-yard line. Miko and the Mustang offense back on the field. Fourth down. Big play here for the Mustangs. And the crowd knows it. Heidler in motion. Miko back to throw. A little bit of pressure. Able to get away. Beautiful pass. Is it completed? It is in. It is intercepted by Spokart at the 35-yard line. And that was a big play for the Mountaineer defense. However, good job by Miko to get out of the pocket there. A lot of pressure by the Mountaineers. And um, it'll be first down and 10 for the Mountaineers. Score still tied at zero. <clears throat> Defensive battle between these two teams with a minute and 16 seconds left in the half. And Spokart back to throw. And bobbled but completed for a five-yard pickup to number eight for the Mountaineers, Isaac Etris. Sassen on the tackle, second down and five for the Mountaineers. Spokart back to throw. A little bit of pressure by the Mustangs, deep pass. It is completed to number four, Preston four. Huge pass play. And ball down at the 20-yard line. That was a 40-yard gain. For the Mountaineers, Spokart to, uh, with a 40-yard completion there, 
First down and 10. 47 seconds left in this ball or in this half. I'm sorry. Four in motion. It'll be a handoff to four, but the Mustang defense coming strong. Number 11, Caden Clark with a tackle. Came out of nowhere there, almost uh, like a Troy Palomalu there with a tackle. Beautiful job, though, by Clark. And that was a five-yard loss. And Berlin will take a timeout with 36 seconds left in the half. Portage looking for a big defensive stop here at the end of the half. You can't let this team put up a whole lot of points. And Berlin trying to score, putting the first points of the game on the board. <clears throat> Again, a huge 40-yard pass by Spokart. And the Mustangs talking it over here. This is a big play. A big drive, I'm sorry. Second down and 15 for Berlin. With just 36 seconds left in this half, score still tied at zero apiece. So far, the Portage Mustang defense has held very strong deep in their own territory. But it couldn't get more crucial than what it is right now. Here late in the first half. And both teams back on the field. Ball now on the 25-yard line. Second down and 15 to go. Spokart back to throw. The lefty. Lots of pressure from the Mustangs. A quick pass to number 27, Hillegas, who's able to break a couple tackles and get it down to the three, maybe the two-yard line. And that is not what you want to see here. Now with 26 seconds left in the half, score still tied at zero. And the Mountaineers take another timeout. And they will get the ball back to start the second half. Head coach Marty Slonick, no doubt telling his team this is huge. We have got to hold them out of the end zone on this drive as the homecoming court getting ready for our halftime show. And after the timeout, here we go. 26 seconds left in the half. Score still 0-0. <clears throat> Mountaineers at the two, three-yard line. First and goal. Spokart back to throw. He's going to keep it, and he is stuffed by the Mustang defense. May get a yard. Number 24, Corey Sassen would not let him get through there. Great tackle by him. And that will bring up second down. Ball still on the three-yard line, so no gain. 18.3 seconds left in this half. It doesn't get any bigger than this. And the Mountaineers call another timeout. And this is truly the play of the half. Score tied at zero. Ball on the three-yard line, second down. Portage has got to hold strong here and keep them out of the end zone. Again, the Mountaineers get the ball back in the second half. So if they're able to get in the end zone and then potentially get the ball back, well, they will get the ball back, but potentially put more points on the board. In this tough defensive game, you know, you just don't know. But Portage 
has had some excellent defensive plays so far. And everyone here knows, obviously, this is a huge, huge drive for both teams. As the cheerleaders, the Mustang cheerleaders, trying to give a little support to their Mustang defense here. And the Mustang defense takes the field as Berlin now coming back from the timeout. Huge play here with 18 seconds left in this half. No timeouts for Berlin. No timeouts left for Berlin. And here we go. Spokart back to throw. Plenty of time in the pocket. He throws deep bound to the end zone, and it is completed for a touchdown. Berlin completed to number 27, Tuck Hillegas. So Berlin will put the first points of the game on the board. Now with 13 seconds left in this first half, your score now six to nothing. They're going to go for the extra point. Just unable to, you know, break up that pass. And uh, extra point blocked by the Mustangs, number 11, Caden Clark. So your score remains 6-0 to zero with 13 seconds left in the first half. And uh, that was a big play. You can't underestimate that type of play here. 6-0. Uh, but in a defensive struggle like we have going on right now, that was a big one. Berlin able to get the touchdown. Their offense has been threatening all first the first half of this game. And right here at the end with 13 seconds left in the first half, they were able to put points on the board. Not what you like to see if you're a Mustang fan, but that's okay. Still anyone's game, obviously. And Berlin set to kick off. Brady Glessner to kick. And Rainey, number 18, and Clark, number 11, set to return. Score is 6-0 in favor of the Mountaineers. And here's the kick. Nice kick. Returned. At the 10-yard line by number 18 for the Mustangs. He gets it up to the 30 before being taken down. Great return by Preston Rainey there. Four seconds, though, left in the half. So they have time for maybe one or two plays max uh, here before the, the before half. Down 6 nothing. They're going to mark the ball at the 31. So a great return for Preston Rainey, the senior, for the Mustangs. As Miko and the offense take the field. And here we go. Again, four seconds left in this half. Miko back to throw. It'll be a quarterback keeper right up the middle. Taken down by number 27, Tuck Hillegas. And that will end the first half of play. Your score, 6 nothing in favor of the Berlin Mountaineers. But a great defensive battle between these two teams here in the first half of play. And you got to be happy uh, if you're Portage on some of those. I mean, the, the, the Mountaineers have had multiple opportunities to put points on the board, and just at the end of the half were able to get the touchdown. But the Mustang defense has been just, uh, you know, unbelievable uh, when it comes to stopping them on fourth down conversions, especially when they're in their own territory. So a lot to look forward to here in the second half.
This year, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to introduce the 2020 Portage Area Junior Senior High School Homecoming Court. Sophomore attendant, Miss McKenna Redfern, is being escorted by her father, Mr. Johnny Redfern, and George Kissel. McKenna is the daughter of Denise Fordick and Johnny Redfern. McKenna is the member of the Portage Area softball team, the track and field team, and the SAD club. In the future, McKenna plans to go to college and become a forensic investigator for the state police. She would also like to play softball. Sophomore attendant Miss Bella Single is being escorted by her father, Mr. David Single, along with William Dombrowski. Bella is the daughter of David and Rebecca Single. Bella is a member of the Varsity Girls Volleyball Team, the Senior High Band, Student Council, SAD Club, Remembering Adam, Spanish Club, and Interact Club. In the future, Bella plans to attend college and pursue a career in the medical field. Miss Bella Bartoletti. We now move to our juniors. Junior attendant, Miss Bella Bartoletti, is being escorted by her father, Christopher Bartoletti, and Ethan Dyke. Isabella is the daughter of Christopher and Christine Bartoletti. Bella is a member of the Lady Mustang basketball team, senior high marching band, track and field team, SAD club, Remembering Adam, Interact Club, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and Junior Class Vice President. In the future, Bella plans to attend a four-year university after high school. Our next junior attendant is Miss Victoria Spade. She is being escorted by her father, Mr. Brad Spade, and Mom Lisa Spade. Victoria is a member of the Portage Varsity Cheerleading Squad a member of the competitive cheer team, and she is also the junior class secretary. She's a member of Remembering Adam, Spanish Club, SAD Club, and a member of the top 20. In the future, Victoria plans to attend Duquesne University, majoring as a physician's assistant with a focus in dermatology and minoring in Spanish. We move on to our seniors class of 2021. Miss Mackenzie Bequel is being escorted by her grandmother, Donna Bequel and Mr. Austin Gentile. Mackenzie is involved in drama club and enjoys music, dancing, and attending plays and movies. In the future, Mackenzie plans to continue her schooling. Senior attendant, Miss Hannah McCabe, is being escorted tonight by her father, Dean McCabe, and Brendan Kraus. Hannah is the daughter of Dean McCabe and Karen McCabe. Hannah is involved in competition and sideline cheering, serving as a captain, president of the yearbook committee, Secretary of the Senior Class, Member of the Top 20, SAD Club, Interact Club, High Honor Roll, Basketball Statistician. She's a member of the Science Club and Remembering Adam. In the future, Hannah plans to attend college and major in Occupational Therapy. Senior Attendant Miss Lucy McCabe is being escorted tonight by her father, Tom McCabe, along with Lane Macy. Lucy is the daughter of Tom and Devaney McCabe. Lucy is the senior class president, varsity girls soccer student team, council president, bound, vice president of the SAD club, National Honor drum Society, major, top 20, president of the Interact marching band. Club, fellowship She's a of member Christian of the Penn Cameron University girls soccer club. team. In the future, Upward Lucy plans to attend college to earn a National business degree Honor Society, and eventually open her own business. Top 20, Interact, fellowship of Christian athletes, science club. In the future, Lucy plans to attend college and earn a business degree and eventually open up her own senior business one Haley day. Senior attendant, Ms. Haley Sawson, is being escorted by... Senior attendant, Miss Kaylee Sawson, is being escorted by her father, Mr. Brett Sawson, and Martin Lee. Kaylee is the daughter of Brett and Pam Sawson. Kaylee is the senior class treasurer, SAD treasurer, member of the student council, remembering Adam, captain of the volleyball team, and statistician for the boys' varsity basketball team. In the future, Kaylee plans to attend a four-year university to dual major in marketing and management. Senior attendant, Miss Mary Ellen Wagner, is being escorted by her father, Donald Wagner, and Chad Salem. Mary Ellen is the daughter of Rhonda and Donald Wagner. Mary Ellen is a member of the Interact Club, SAD Club, Spanish Club, Science Club, Art Club, Archery Program, and the National Honor Society. Top 20 in high honor roll. In the future, Mary Ellen plans to go to a college with an interest in the future career in paleontology and toxicology. 
Little Miss Portage, Miss Vanessa Barniak. Vanessa is the daughter of Jim and Natalie Barniak. Oh, and Little Miss Portage is Miss Vanessa Barniak. Vanessa is the daughter of Jim and Natalie Barniak and being escorted by her father. Vanessa is a sixth grade honor student. She participates in band and chorus and is a member of the Math 24 and reading competition teams. Vanessa dances with Charlene's School of Dance and performs competitively. She enjoys reading, swimming, skiing, and spending time with her family, friends, and pets. The 2019 homecoming queen, Miss Abigail Riskis, is being escorted by Gabe Ford. Impressive for Abigail is the daughter of sixth grade. And here is last year's 2019 homecoming queen, Miss Abigail Riskis. She is being escorted by Mr. Gabe Forst. Abigail is the daughter of Thomas and Tony Riskis. She attends St. Francis University, majoring in nursing, and hopes to become a nurse practitioner. While attending Portage Area High School, she was a member of the girls basketball team that led the team to the Westpac and the first ever district title. Abigail is now a member of the 2021 Women's Red Flash basketball team. She is a member of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes at St. Francis. Abigail is forever Portage proud and would like to tell this year's seniors to enjoy every minute because it goes by way too fast. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 Portage Homecoming Queen. And now a final look yes. at our homecoming court. Sophomore attendance, McKenna We'll get one more look at the court. Victoria Spade. McKenna Redford. Senior attendants, Mackenzie Beeple and Hannah McCabe. <laughs> Sophomores were McKenna Redford and Bella Senior Singh. attendants, Lucy Juniors McCabe and, and Kaylee Sawson. Victoria Spade. <laughs> Seniors, Mackenzie Beeple, Hannah McCabe, Lucy Senior McCabe, attendant, Mary Ellen Wagner. Kaylee Sawson. Twenty twenty Little Miss Portage, Miss Vanessa Barniak. Little Miss Portage, Vanessa Barniak. And our two thousand nineteen homecoming queen, Miss Abigail Reskis. Is coming shortly. Just recognize the two thousand nineteen queen, Miss Abigail Reskis. And let's find out who's going to be the next homecoming queen. Twenty nineteen Portage homecoming queen. And now Abigail Reskis. And let's find out who's going to be the two thousand twenty Portage homecoming queen. And now Abigail, will you please crown our two thousand twenty homecoming queen, Miss Kaylee. Miss Kaylee Sawson has been identified and voted by her peers as the 2020 Homecoming Queen. Congratulations, Kaylee Sawson. See Abby headed over to put the crown on Kaylee. This evening by her father, Brett, as well as senior Martin Lee. We'd like to wish Kaylee congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, and the homecoming committee wishes to extend a thank you to the following businesses for the their support with tonight's homecoming, homecoming festivities. Christy at Country Hearts and Flowers for the Queen's Bouquet and the Court Flowers. A big thank Officer Brannick in the Portage Pellis. Police Department. Jeremy Shuniak in the Portage Miller, Fire Department and Portage George, Ambulance for the escort to the stadium. Man. The school Lisa security Dino, personnel, Mrs. those Renee kind ben individuals Arsene, who permitted the use of their vehicles for our pregame, the Portage Katie Area George, School District custodians, and our Martin photographer, Letty. Jessica Gauss. As well, a big thank you also goes out to Ms. Dana Pellis, Mrs. Aileen Miller, Mrs. Ms. Arielle Miller, Mr. Tim Mrs. George, Griffin, the Portage Area Marching Mr. Band, Mrs. Lee, Mrs. Lisa Dividoff, Randall, Mrs. Renee Benarski, Mr. Mrs. Marcia Kick, Mr. Mr. Lankel, Mr. Ken Jubis, Ms. Katie George, Mrs. Christine Bartoletti, Mrs. Jennifer Pizarski, Mrs. Kristen Ribbon, Mr. Dennis Link, once again, your queen for Mr. Brian Randall, Mr. Jeremy Burkett, Mr. Eric Polanco, and Mr. Ralph Cesari. No, I 
I won't say that out loud. <laughs> For the health and safety of our students and fans, we are asking everyone to wear a face covering during the event and maintain social distancing while in the stadium. We thank you for your cooperation. All right, we're back here in Portage. Score six zero in favor of the Mustang, or I'm sorry, in favor of the Mountaineers. Here to open the second half.
We need 16 seconds to go here before we start the second half of play. Berlin takes the field, set to receive the kick here to start the second half of play. They lead 6-0 to zero over the Portage Mustangs. Again, both teams undefeated. Berlin 5-0, Portage 4-0. And Klar set to kick for the Mustangs. Now Dylan Tubbs set to kick for the Mustangs. Looked like an 11 from up here in the box. Number 81, Dylan Tubbs. Yep. And here's the kick. Nice kick. And up to the 24-yard line is number eight, Isaac Idris. On the 25-yard line. And the Mountaineer offense set to take the field. We're able to put a scoring drive together here right at the end of the first half to make it 6 nothing after a blocked extra point by the Mustangs. <clears throat> and on the handoff is Spokart to four. Wrapped up by the Mustang defense right at the 25-yard line. No gain on the play. Second down and ten. Four men at the line of scrimmage by Douglas. Second Douglas down. was there to meet him for the Mustangs. And the Mountaineers second and ten from the 25-yard line. Again, they lead 6-0. Spokart back to throw. A little bit of pressure by the Mustangs. He's able to get it to the 30-yard line. Tripped up. There, that'll be third down and five Some for the Mountaineers. Heidler with the tackle. Gain of five. Third Gain down. Of five on the play for the Mountaineers. So this is a big situation for both teams. If you're the Mountaineers and you can put some more points on the board, you're really putting yourself in a good position. Mustangs trying to hold here on third and five. Spokart back to throw. Deep pass. And is it completed? No, but a flag on the play. We'll see what the flag is. Fisher, the intended receiver on the play, spoke over with a great pass. And they're going to call pass interference on the Mustangs. Crowd not liking that one too much. That will be a first down for the Mountaineers now in Mustang territory. No, they're not in Mustang territory. I'm forgetting it's not the NFL. 45-yard line, first and 10 for the Mountaineers. Spokart on the handoff to four. Four breaking through a couple tackles and a two-yard gain. Wrapped up by the Mustang defense. Number 52. Marcos Douglas, the senior for the Mustangs, and a two-yard gain, making it second and eight for the Mountaineers. Spokart back to throw. Plenty of time right over the middle, and it could be another 
Are they going to call a flag? No. No flag on the play. An incomplete pass. I'm, uh, <laughs> it almost looked like there was some defensive pass interference there, but they're not going to call it. That will bring up third down and eight to go. Big play here for the Mountaineers. Spokart back to throw. Mustangs with a lot of pressure. Quick pass to number one. Charlie Fisher completed for the first down. Ball at the 45-yard line. Mountaineers now in Mustang territory again. They lead 6-0. to zero. Big drive here for the Mountaineers. Mustangs looking for a stop. Spokart on the handoff. Right up the middle, breaking two tackles is number eight, Isaac Etris, who runs all the way to the end zone. However, there's a flag on the play. Etris with a great play, breaking three or four tackles. Mustang's not able to wrap him up. And again, if the flag is against the Mustangs, it will be a touchdown for the Mountaineers. They're going to call holding on the Mountaineers. So the touchdown goes away. Your score is still 6-0. They're going to mark the ball at the 30-yard line now. And still first down. So a huge break there by the Mustangs. Spokart to the left side. Wrapped up by number 29. Josh Morgan. Spokart the line of scrimmage by Morgan. No gain. No gain on the play. Now they're going to mark it a yard, it looks like. And again, just a huge play a minute ago by the Mountaineers taken back due to a holding penalty. Spokart again on the handoff to number eight, Isaac Idris, who breaks three tackles again and scores the touchdown. For the Mountaineers, that was big. 28-yard gain for the touchdown is Etris. And back-to-back, -back, he's able to get it into the end zone. The first one taken back by a holding penalty. This one, a 28-yard touchdown run for the Mountaineers. And Etris powering his way through that Mustang defense. The score now 12-0. And the kick... Is good. 13 nothing in favor of the Mountaineers. Huge play there for Berlin. And the Mustang defense not able to hold them back. 13 to nothing your score. Here in the third quarter, 923 left. <laughs> and that's the situation you didn't want to see if you're a Portage Mustang fan. They were able to, uh, Berlin was able to put a, a touchdown right before the uh, end of the first half. Came out in the second half ready to go. Some big plays by uh, Etris got them into the end zone. And now we're down to a, a 13 uh, nothing lead here for Berlin. So Portage now needing to fight back. And back to receive, number 11, Caden Clark. Number 18, Preston Rainey for the Mustangs. And Berlin set to kick. Number 28, Brady Glessner to kick. And the kick. Beautiful kick to the 10-yard the line. And... Rainey on the return, breaking through a couple tackles, getting to the 28-yard line, it appears, maybe the 27. So about a 17-yard return there on the kick. And Portage will take over control of the football. Offense takes the field. Miko and the Portage offense take the field. Down 13 to nothing. Ball on the 28-yard line to start off here. 
in the third quarter with nine minutes and 15 seconds to go. Miko on the handoff to number 33 for the Mustangs. Oren Heidler, who gets the ball to about the 30-yard line, pickup of two before being taken down by the Berlin Mountaineer defense. So it'll be second and eight. So second down, eight to go. Ball on the 30-yard line for the Mustangs. Down 13 to nothing. Back to throw is Miko. Incomplete pass intended for number 29, Josh Morgan. Third down for the Mustangs. Morgan the tight end and senior for the Mustangs. Unable to complete the pass there. And the Mustangs in a third down and eight situation. Down 13 points here in the third quarter. Miko and the Mustangs ready to go. Miko back to throw. Third and eight. Quick pass out to the right side. Caught by number 11, Caden Clark. Is he going to be able to push through? He does for the first down. Great job for, for Clark there. Able to get that ball past the first down marker to the 39-yard line, wrapped up by three or four Berlin Mountaineers, spinning around for the first down. And the Mustangs now first and 10 on the 39. Trying to put some points on the board, down 13 to nothing. This tough Berlin Mountaineer defense has held strong so far. <clears throat> Miko back to throw. Rolls out of the pocket. Little bit of pressure. Deep pass down to Klar, incomplete. Double covered on Klar by number one, Charlie Fisher, and number two, Will Sp Spokart. Just a little bit over the head of Clara there. And that'll bring up second down for the Mustangs. Miko, back to throw. He'll hand it off to number 33, Oren Heidler who pushes ahead for maybe three or four yards right up the middle of the field and is met by the Berlin defense. Number 73 for Berlin comes in. That's Shane Spano, the senior for Berlin, one of the biggest guys on the line. So third down for the Mustangs, third and four, just about four. And here's Miko, back to throw again. Oh, nice pass by Miko, broken up by number one, Charlie Fisher. Pass intended for number 11, Caden Clark. And that'll bring up a fourth down situation for the Mustangs. Still in Mustang territory. Looks like they will punt. Number eight, Isaac Etris back to return. And Mustangs with a punt. Nice punt to Etris. He'll call for the fair catch at about the 26-yard line.
So it'll be first and ten for the Mountaineers. As Spokart in the uh, Mountaineer offense takes the field. High snap. And he'll run it right up the middle. Quarterback carry to about the 30-yard line. And that'll be second down for the Mountaineers. Wolford on the tackle. And the Mountaineers lead 13-0. Here in the third quarter. Spokart back to throw. Deep pass almost picked off by number 11, Caden Clark broken up there. That'll be third down now for the Mountaineers. Nice pass by Spokart, just a little low, almost picked off by the Mustangs. That would have been a big play for Portage. But Berlin now in a third down situation. And Spokart will take the ball himself and bring it up to the 38-yard line for the first down for the Mountaineers. Big play for Berlin. Zaytak on the tackle. First and 10, Spokart on the handoff to number five. Bluebaugh, who brings it up to about the 48-yard line and another first down for the Berlin Mountaineers. Now in Mustang territory. Mason Cargo comes in for the Mustangs. And Mountaineers first and 10. Hand it off to Four, who runs it up to about the 45-yard line which will bring up a second down situation for the Mountaineers. They're going to mark it at the 46, so that'll be a six-yard gain for four. And the Mustangs calling a timeout. And head coach Marty Slonick, coach Brandon Vaco trying to get his team motivated here and keep the Mountaineers out of uh, the end zone or scoring territory at all. Down 13 nothing. That's a big hurdle to climb if the if the Berlin's able to put another uh, touchdown on the board. Here midway through the third. 5.58 to play here in the third. And Berlin threatening again. Threatening to open up this game. And here we go. After the timeout by the Mustangs, we'll see how the def defense holds us here on this drive. Hillegas in motion. Spokart back to throw. Deep pass. Broken up. They're going to call an incomplete pass there. Broken up by number eight for the Portage Mustangs, Brandon Miko. Pass intended. For number eight, Isaac Etris for Berlin. So it'll be third down for the Mountaineers. Hillegas in motion again. Spoke on the handoff to number four, Preston Four, who pushes it up just about to the 42. I'm not sure they're going to get the first down. Might have to measure that one. Uh, but the referee looks like he's going to call fourth down. And the other one says first down. And that will be the final ruling. First down for the Mountaineers. 
you got to wonder if Coach Marty Slonick had the opportunity to challenge that one if he would have thrown the red flag there. Very close call, but it'll be a first down for the Mountaineers. Spokart back to throw. Who will run the ball up to, wow, crushed at the line by the Mount, uh, Mustang defense. Number 37, John Wolford would not let him get an inch until the rest of the Mustang defense took him down. Pickup of maybe a yard. And it'll be second down, nine to go. Spokart talking to four. Back to throw. Spokart. Plenty of time. Deep pass. Incomplete. Overthrew number eight, Isaac Etris. But a beautiful pass. Just a little bit over his head. Uh, but a flag on the play. This could be big. Looks like it's against the Berlin Mountaineers. Referees talking it over. It will be. I'm not sure what the call was. Tripping, the Tripping on the Mountaineers. And that will bring the ball back to the 42-yard line. Still second down. Big play there. Big penalty by the Mountaineers. Not sure who the call was on, but still second down. Spokart back to throw. Quick pass. Over to number eight, Isaac Etris, who breaks three or four tackles and gets the ball up to the 27-yard line, 26 25-yard line before being taken down. Another huge play by Etris. And a Portage Mustang down on the field. Trainer already taking a look at him. But that will be a Mountaineer first down. No penalty flags there. Etris was able to break through three or four tackles to get the first down. Ball on the 25-yard line. So after the big penalty, Mountaineers able to erase the loss. With a huge play by Etris. Thirteen to nothing your score in favor of the Berlin Mountaineers. Four forty four to go here in the third. And the Mustangs talking it over here. Ready to head back onto the field. <clears throat> Excuse me. So first and 10 for the Mountaineers. They lead 13 to 0 against an undefeated Mustang football team. A little bit of chill to the air tonight here in Mustang Stadium. Spokart back to throw. He'll take it himself. Pick up of a yard on the quarterback keeper right up to the middle, up through the middle. So second down, nine to go on the 24-yard line. Cobal on the tackle. Second down for the Mountaineers. We'll see if Isaac Etris gets involved here in this play. He's been a big help for the Mountaineers so far. Spokart. Back to throw, looking for Etris in the end zone, overthrown. Actually, that was intended for number 27, Tuck Hillegas. Not able to complete the pass. Third down. 
Spokart back to throw again. Little bit of pressure in the pocket. Looks for number eight, Isaac Etris, who is able to complete the pass and score another touchdown for the Mountaineers. That was big. Your score down 19 to zero in favor of Berlin. And I believe Etris has had two or at least two touchdowns for the Mountaineers. He's been a big help for this team as they've been able to capitalize now. Their offense starting to fire on all four cylinders. And the extra point attempt is good. 20 to nothing your score. 347 left in the third quarter of play. Not where you were expecting to see this game at the end of the first half. 6 nothing, A defensive battle in the first between both teams. Now the Mountaineers starting to open it up a little bit. Well, more than a little bit. 20 to nothing. your score. We'll see if Portage can fire back. They had a big play near the end of the uh, first half. It looked to fire up that Mustang offense. But since then, not a whole lot. And Berlin already set to kick. Is number 28, Brad Glessner. Set to kick. And for the Mustangs, number 18, Preston Rainey. And number 28, Dimitri Miller, set to return. Their team down 20 to nothing. And here's the kick from Berlin. And Dimitri unable to catch it, but he does gain control. Bobbled it a little bit there, not able to get back to the 20. Looks like it'll be first and 10 at the 19-yard line for the Mustangs. Could have been big trouble there. They'll mark it at the 20. Dimitri Miller, good job of being able to regain control of that football there. Ball in the 20 is Andrew Miko and the Portage Mustang offense take the field. Getting into a must-score situation. Miko on the handoff to number 33, Oren Heidler, who's taken down behind the line. Number 51 with the tackle there for the Mountaineers. Second down and 11 for Portage. Ball on the 19-yard line. Miko back to throw. Referees will stop the play. Timeout. As the Mustangs call a timeout. And you know, like I said, this is a situation, unfortunately, that the Mustangs are in. Down by 20 points here late in the third quarter. This has to be the driver. They put some points on the board. Berlin telling their players, I'm sure, this we have to hold them right now if we want to maintain this lead and have a little breathing room going into the fourth quarter. So this is a big drive for both teams. Obviously, Berlin with a little bit of breathing room right now, it, it, up 20 points, and so far has handled the Portage Mustang offense pretty well. And Portage ready to go as Berlin talking over a couple other things here. <clears throat> Miko and the Portage Mustang offense ready to roll down 20 to nothing. A 
idler in motion there. And it looks like we're going to have a possibly a flag on the play. False start. Yeah, false start on the Mustangs. That'll drop them back five yards. Still second down. You cannot afford those mistakes in this situation if you're Portage. And here we go. Miko. Back to throw. A little bit of pressure. He's taken down by number 51, Brady Babor Baborchik, the senior for Berlin. In a third down situation for the Mustangs. Big play by Berlin. Third down and 22 to go for the Mustangs, down 20 to nothing. Time ticking away here in the third quarter. Clark in motion, and Miko will take it right up the middle. Quarterback keeper gain of maybe two, and that'll bring up fourth down. Foy on the stop there. And Portage will punt deep in their own territory. Miko to punt. Nice punt. And Berlin's going to let it drop. Portage number 37, John Wolford, downing it at the 46-yard line. So the Mountaineers will take possession at the 46-yard line in Mustang territory. Now up 20 to nothing here late in the third quarter with a minute and 28 seconds left to, to go in this quarter. Four in motion. Spokart right up the middle. He'll take it seven yards to the 41-yard line. And that'll bring up second down for the Mountaineers. Second down and three. No car on the carry, brought down by Cargo. Cargo with the tackle. Back to throw is Spoker. Quick pass over to number eight. Isaac Etris, who brings the ball up to the, about the 36-yard line, might be a first down. Etris with another play there. And he's been a big help to this Mountaineer offense. And they are going to mark it a first down. So Etris with the first down, refusing to go down there. And Spokart back to throw. No pressure there by Portage. Overthrown. Pass intended for Charlie Fisher. That'll bring up a second down and 10 situation for the Mountaineers. As number 24, Grant Mathias comes in for the Mountaineers, blue ball in motion. It will be handed off to him, but a quick tackle by number 29, Josh Morgan for the Mustangs. Lots of about four yards on the play, and that'll bring up a third down situation. Morgan busted through that. Mountaineer line to make the tackle. Looks like there might be a timeout on the play. Oh, that's the end of the quarter. So 20 to nothing your score after three. And 
and Berlin threatening again to put more points on the board and lengthen their lead. Here in this battle of the undefeateds here in Portage Mustang Stadium. On a cold homecoming night here in 2020. As the, your Portage Mustang cheerleaders trying to get the crowd involved in the game. And help their team get back in this. Portage is not going to go down without a fight. They never, they never do. So you can never count them out, even though the score is 20 to nothing. Portage is known for the fight. As the coaches for the Mustangs talking it over their players as Berlin takes the field. And number 24, Corey Sassen, has taken his pads off. That's, we'll try to get the story there. Uh, Spokart on a pass completed to number eight, Isaac Etris, who brings it up to the 21-yard line and another first down for the Berlin Mountaineers. Getting back to what I was saying there, we're not sure what happened to number 24, Corey Sassen. He is currently on the sideline, pads off. Uh, first down and 10 for Berlin. On the handoff to number four, Preston Four, refusing to go down and tackled at the 10. That should be close to a first down for Berlin. But there's a flag on the play, and they're going to call holding on the Mountaineers. And that will bring the ball back to the 30-yard line. Still first down for Berlin. Not sure who the holding penalty was on. But the Mustangs will need to capitalize on that penalty here and hold them uh, to get this ball back if they want any hope of winning this ball game. Blitz by the Mustangs. Back to throw is Spokart, a deep pass to number five, completes it at the one, and Ryan Bluebaugh with the touchdown. Or are they gonna mark it at the one? The 28-yard gain results in a Mountaineer first down. 28-yard gain, they're gonna mark it at the two-yard line. Ball on the two, first and goal. Spokart on the handoff to number four, Preston Four, who runs up through the middle. And another touchdown for the Berlin Mountaineers. They now lead 26 to nothing. Here with 11.01 left in the game. And that was a big one. Potentially could have put this game out of reach. Not sure yet, though. Still time. And the kick is up. And good. 27 to nothing. Your score. Tail of the two different halves here. In the first half, it was an all-defensive game. Um, Berlin only able to put six points on the board. Have really opened up this lead. Um, in one quarter, putting up 21 points, they now lead 27 to zero against a tough Portage Mustang football team here. Portage will now return a kick and hopefully be able to get some points on the board, making this a game again. Again, this is the 2020 homecoming night for your Portage Mustangs. And Berlin set to kick. Number 
number 28, Brad Brady Glessner, to kick for Berlin. And there's the kick. Clark on the return. Getting a little bit of block, and he'll pull it up to the 30-yard line. Break a tackle. Number 33. Hay with the tackle. And he'll get it to the 33-yard line. Great return by Caden Clark there. And it'll be first down and 10 for the Mustangs. Ball at the 33-yard line. Down 27 to nothing. Got to put a put a scoring drive together right now with only 10 minutes and 52 seconds left in this game. Portage in danger of a first loss on the season here to Berlin. <coughs> Berlin looking to maintain that undefeated record. And... On the handoff to number 33, Oren Heidler is Miko on the handoff. Couple yards, number 44, Scott Berardinelli down. Tyler on the carry, brought down by Mont. As the trainer looks him over. And another trainer coming out in the field, Berardinelli. Appears to be in a little bit of pain there. Not sure what happened. This cold weather could be, you know, a little bit of an issue for these guys out here. Temperature has definitely dropped as the sun falls. And Berardinelli able to get up on his own accord. And walk to the sideline. The crowd showing their support to him. There is an Equinox walking the road out front here. License plate KPZ8615. So it'll be second down for the Mustangs. Ball on the 37-yard line. Miko in the offense, back on the field, number 33, Heidler in motion. It will be handed off to Heidler, who gets a block. Oh, and he fumbled the football. It appears that Berlin has recovered. Heidler on the carry. And they will rule Berlin did recover the fumble. Looks like Spokart on the recovery there. And that was a big play. Not what you're looking for if you're a Mustang fan. Obviously a big play if you're Berlin looking to seal the deal on this game. 27 to nothing Berlin. Spokart on the offense, back on the field. And flag on the play. And that'll be encroachment on the Mustangs. Five-yard penalty, still first down. Five-yard penalty, replay, first down. And sacked is Spokart. That'll bring the ball back to the 40-yard line, 38-yard line. Loss of three on the play. Cargo with the tackle. Second down. And Spokart back to throw. Quick pass to number five who was able to push it ahead to the 28-yard line before being taken out of bounds by number 20, Mason Cargo. Blue ball on the reception there. Did a good job of refusing to go down before the first down markers. 
And Spokart in the offense. Hurrying it up. Hand off to number four. Preston four. Gain of four by M. Wolford on the tackle. So that'll bring up second down. Ball on the 24-yard line. 25-yard line, I'm sorry. Hillegas in motion. Spokart will take it himself. Able to run right up the middle tackle by number 58. Spokart on the carry. Ian Koval. And Koval is down. Trainers coming out to look at Koval. The senior for the Mustang, standing at 5'10". And again, I don't know if this cold weather might be a factor in some of these uh, injuries, cramping these guys up. But it definitely has dropped. The temperature has definitely has dropped. You can definitely see on the broadcast here that the, you can see the players' breaths, which you were not able to see at the beginning of this game. It was a lot warmer earlier on. But a cold night here in Portage. Koval still being assessed on the field by the trainers. But Berlin threatening right now. They're in a first and ten situation. Ball in the 19-yard line, <clears throat> and Koval able to get up on his own accord and walk off the field. We're thankful nothing happened there. Hopefully he can get back in the game quickly. Berlin takes the field again. Ball at the 19-yard line, first and 10, 27 to nothing lead. Back to throw is Spokart overthrown just a little bit to Hillegas. Pass will fall incomplete, second down. Second down. And Spokart on the toss to number four. Preston Four, who's taken down at the 15-yard line. Pick up a four on the play. And that'll bring up a third down situation. Third and seven to go. Spokart. Back to throw. Rolling out. A little bit of pressure by the Mustangs. He will get the pass away. Almost intercepted there, it looked like, but tipped away by number 27, Tuck Hillegas. Almost able to complete the pass there. That'll bring up fourth down. And they will attempt a field goal. And if they're able to get this through the uprights, it'll be 30 to nothing in favor of the undefeated Berlin Mountaineers. Number 28, Brady Glessner with the kick. Nice kick, and it is good. 30 to nothing, your score, 824 left in this game. Glessner able to get it right through the uprights. I gotta be honest, I didn't think he was gonna make that. But a great kick by him. So Portage will look to receive the football here. Tough game here, 30 to nothing. 
And, you know, if you were tuning in in the beginning of this game at the half, you did not think this was going to be the score you're seeing right now. Six to nothing at the half in favor of Berlin. Both teams showing a lot of great defense out there. It's turned a little bit here, obviously, uh, for Berlin. Not where we thought we'd be. Number 28, Dimitri Miller. And number 18, Preston Rainey to return the kick. And Brady Glusner to kick. There's the kick. Another great kick by Glusner. This one returned by Dimitri Miller. Bobbled it a little bit. Breaks the tackle as Miller. And taken down by number 33, Hay, from the Berlin Mountaineers. Hay, a junior for the Mountaineers. But Portage will take over at the 23-yard line, first and 10, down 30 points here on this 2020 homecoming night in Portage, Pennsylvania. <clears throat> Miko in the offense back on the field Clark in motion and right up the middle is Miko great gain there pickup of maybe eight up to the line here and put some points on the board. One of the characteristics of the Mustangs is they never give up. They are fighters. It'd be tough right now to come back from this deficit, but it's not impossible for them. Nothing is impossible. Miko behind center. On the handoff to number 33, Oren Heidler. Heidler pushes it up a yard, maybe two. Could be a first down. We'll see what the ruling is. They're going to mark it at the 34-yard line. That will be a Mustang first down. Etris with the tackle. Etris has been a big part of this. Uh, Mountaineer football team, both on the offense and defensive side of the ball. Miko under center, back to throw. Rolls out of the pocket, no pressure. He'll take it himself up to the 42-yard line before being taken out of bounds by number eight, Isaac Etris. So that'll be second down and about three. Etras with yet another play there to help this Berlin defense. But a great pickup by Miko. Second down and two to go. Miko behind center. Back to throw. Plenty of time. Pass to number. Uh, it's intercepted by Berlin. And guess who that is? Isaac Etris with the interception. And that is big trouble for this Mustang football team. Now very close to a 4-1 and one record. Berlin back in control of the football. With 6.07 left in the game. Ball on the 30-yard line after the interception by Isaac Etris. Who's made some big plays this half. And Spokart in the offense back on the field. Quick handoff to number four. Preston four, who picks up about seven, scrambles right up the middle. Tackle by number 11, Caden Clark. Clark. 
Sherbine back out on the field. Alex Sherbine. Looks like he just came in. And the score now 30 to 0. Mustangs able to pile up on number 10. Aiden Ream. Tackled by Wolford and a couple other Mustangs there for a loss of a couple yards. That'll bring up third down. Again, your score 30 to 0 in favor of the Mountaineers. Five minutes, 18 seconds to go in the game. Etris in motion. Hand off to number four. Preston four. Sherbine with the tackle. And a pickup of maybe a yard. That'll bring up fourth down for Berlin. And they will punt. Right. Clar back to return. Here's the punt. He'll get it at the 35-yard line. A couple good blocks. Gets it to the 40. Tackled at the 44-yard line by number nine, Hunter Cornell. Cornell's a junior, standing at 5'6 for the Mountaineers. And that'll bring 43 yard line, first and 10 for the Mustangs. Got to put some points on the board at least here. You don't want to be shut out. They're down 30 to 0. As Andrew Miko and the Mustang offense take the field, Miko behind center. Handoff, right up the middle, pickup of a yard. And a run there by number 33, Oren Heidler. Heidler, the junior from the Portage. Second down and nine for the Mustangs. Three fifty-three to go in the game. And Miko back to throw. Plenty of time. Oh, crushed by number 51, Brady Baborchuk. Not exactly sure if I said that name correctly, but the senior just crushed him into the ground, unfortunately. Miko looking. To the left side, did not see him coming. And that'll be third down. But I will say, Andrew Miko can take a hit. Got right up after that hit by Baborchik. Number 51 by the Mountaineers. Miko drops back to throw again. Quick pass to number 33, Oren Heidler, who brings it up to the 46-yard line before being tackled by number 25, Grant Mathias. Brandon Thompson, I'm sorry. Brandon Thompson with the tackle there by the Mountaineers. Ball at the 46-yard line. That will be fourth down. Number 37, John Wolford, comes in. And number 44, Scott Berardinelli comes out. And they will go for it here with two minutes left to go in the game. Miko behind center. Ball in the 46. Back to throw. Lots of pressure. He'll take it himself and pick up two. Not enough for the first down. That'll be a turnover on downs. And Berlin will regain control of the football. Baborczyk. Lots of pressure that whole drive. Really ended the drive for the Mustangs. Big changes for both teams. 
Lots of substitutions for both teams here. With a minute and 46 seconds left to go, 30 to nothing your score. Number 10 on the handoff there. That's Aiden Ream, pickup of about five. New quarterback in for the Berlin Mountaineers, number three, Pace Prosser. He's a freshman for the Mountaineers. Should be just a bunch of handoffs here, though. So it looks like Ream will get a bunch of carries. Second and six for the Berlin Mountaineers. They lead 30 to zero with a minute 15 left in the game. Ream right up the middle and breaks a tackle. Ream able to get a first down for the Berlin Mountaineers. Ream on the carry. Refusing to go down there. Looks like number 11, Caden Clark with a tackle. With a little help from his friends. Forty-nine left in the game. And Prosser takes a knee. And that should about do it. They might have to take one more knee. But Berlin able to maintain their undefeated record, moving to six and zero. Oh. Portage now falls to four and one. But a hard fought game. For both teams there, Berlin just able to pull ahead there in the second half. You know, like I said, not where you thought this game was going to uh, be at the end after watching that first half of play. Both teams with a great defensive performance. Um, Berlin just able to pull it out here in the second half. A little bit of um, coronavirus sportsmanship there at the end. Obviously, we're not going to be shaking hands. Both teams showing their appreciation for a good game. Uh, but Isaac Etris making some big plays in that second half to put the score where it was. Um, Mustangs will have to come back and uh, play hard in the playoffs. So Portage will take on the Winber Ramblers, Ramblers next week. Um, and then enter the playoffs. So we'll see what happens next week. We will not be broadcasting that game. But, um, you know, we'll see. But thanks for tuning in to the Portage Mustang broadcast here. Unfortunately not the win we were hoping for. 30 to nothing the final. Tune in next time.